Happy Hump Day, everybody. Welcome to another video here at the Washington Football Maniacs. Robert Griffin III has come out with a new book. It's entitled Surviving Washington, and it's coming out August of 2022. You can pre-order your copy now, from what I hear, from the man himself, RG3, on Twitter. So, RG3 coming out with this book, supposedly a tell-all book on how the Washington football coach at the time, Mike Shanahan, was greedy. How the owner had all of this power, I'm assuming corrupt power, the sexual harassment stuff um, that it has surrounded the, the team around that time, and the handling of RG3's injury during 2012, so forth and so on. It's a tell-all book. It's very interesting how this is being released now. You know, it, it feels like it feels like a money grab to a lot of us fans. I know a lot of fans on Twitter that I've read their comments, they all feel the same way. They feel it's a money grab. You're going to have a couple of fans who are going to be like, well, let's, let's let RG3 tell his side. Well, RG3 can tell his side. Why, do, why doesn't he maybe just go to the media, sit down, and you know be interviewed? Why does he have to write a book? You know, I mean, to me, it does feel like a little bit of a money grab. Uh, no offense to RG3, I don't know him personally, but, you know, if you look back at his own personal life from what we know, I mean, the guy basically cheated on his, I'm assuming they were married, uh, his wife, they had children together, RG3 decided to cheat on her, go with this young blonde uh, athletic girl from what was it florida state maybe and they eventually got married so they're together now you know not necessarily a guy that i would feel should be the spokesperson the spokesman for uh speaking out against sexual harassment now that's not saying that he himself has committed sexual harassment. I'm just saying that, you know, for someone who kind of cheated on his wife and, uh, you know, again, we don't know that side of the story. There may be more into that than what we know. So, and maybe that's going to be in his book, but still to a lot of us fans it just kind of feels like money grab. And, you know, as much as that we would like to know a little bit more detail into what has went on, with the investigations and stuff within the Washington football uh, team organization. Honestly, what it comes down to for all of us fans is that we just want Daniel Snyder gone. I mean, that's it. We we don't think he has been that great of an owner. And, you know, it's been 20-plus years of nothing but losing, you know, with a, a winning season sprinkled here and there, but never, like, playoff victories and stuff like that. Our, I think our last playoff victory, you have to go back to the Joe Gibbs uh, 2005 season, I believe it was. So, you know, folks, I have to tell you, I'm not going to purchase this book now. If somebody wants to send me the book, I'll read it. Um, sure, I, I don't mind being able to see, you know, or to read Robert Griffin III's version of what he feels like went on within the organization. It does come across as a little bit salty uh, because at this point, you know, RG3, you had opportunities to catch on with other teams. And as devastating as an ACL, MCL tear is, I understand, still you got to be able to develop your full game as a quarterback in order to compensate for injuries like that. And if 90% of your game was scrambling and making these big runs, well, you know, that's great, but you got to have a quarterback who is able to command the game, who's able to manage the game, who is able to make the tough throws, all of that stuff. And quite frankly, you just didn't pan out with any other NFL team. You stuck with Baltimore for a little bit, 
Um, you were you were terrible in Cleveland, uh, but Baltimore you stayed there for a little bit because you were a backup. The times you've gotten into the game, you threw interceptions. You didn't play very well. So, I mean, let's face it. You know, you were electrifying. You're fantastic in 2012, and I, I, I get it, dude. I understand the uh, the frustrations from that injury, and maybe it was handled incorrectly. But you know, overall, you you needed to trust the coaches. If the coaches were going to have you in there playing, then they had a game plan to try to play to your strengths. And if A, if you're not able to play to those strengths yourself, or B, you're wanting to change and you're wanting to be more of a drop back passer, which I, I get it, but those things for you need it to be developed over time. Mike Shanahan didn't win those two Super Bowls just on a whim. Yeah, he had a a Hall of Fame quarterback. Um, he had a great team. And he had a pretty good team in Washington, I felt. You know, he had a lot of great players. And I think that this is one of those cases where everybody should have listened to the coach. The coach knows. Um, now, yeah, I wasn't necessarily the biggest fan of Mike Shanahan and myself. But, I mean, he knew what he was talking about. So, I mean, that's my opinion. Haven't been in a locker room, never been an NFL quarterback, player at all. Um, haven't even carried water for any of those guys. So, yeah, it's purely my opinion. Take it for what it's worth. Grain of salt, that's okay. Um, I won't be purchasing the book. Um, like I said, if someone wants to send me the book, I'll read it, and I'll give you my uh, reactions to it. But I, I have no desire. Yeah, I do have a desire to find out the truth and what has really went on in Washington. Um, and I'm just going to let Congress, if they even think they can, come down to the bottom of that. But other than that, I just think this is just kind of a salty thing with RG3. Uh, us fans should just be like, you know what? Too much of a distraction. Don't care. We're in the Ron Rivera era now. We're in the Taylor Heineke error now let's just stick with that let's see if this team gets into the playoffs this year and just let rg3 you know shine and where he was with his organization which is in the past uh, we celebrate 2012 he was electrifying in 2012 uh, that one great year um won't take that away from him rg3 was awesome that year so other than that that's all I got. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Try not to be salty myself. But anyway, you guys take care. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.